This is Davey 3 oi and this video is an update to the Arduino SNA prototype that I've been working on for the Peel Amateur Radio Club upcoming build-a-thon uh, for this fall. So what I have uh, done is I have replaced the SI5351 uh, signal generator which is a PLL in the uh, the SNA prototype and I'm now using this AD9850 uh, module which is generating a sine wave and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through the various calibration options within the uh, software and also run a couple of sample sweeps just to show that uh, it's uh, working quite well so the first calibration I'll do is the frequency calibration. I won't uh, um, change the calibration of the AD8307 because uh, that hasn't really changed. Uh, it's just the frequency generator I changed. So what I have is I have the uh, AD9850 connected to my frequency counter and I'll go in here and I'll use the frequency calibration option so there it's telling me that my frequencies uh, it's putting out is 10 megahertz and the calibration coefficient is minus 3 and if I go over to my counter it's showing that I'm running pretty close to 10 megahertz so I've already calibrated it, but I'll just change the calibration value, and you'll see how the value is changing. So there, the frequency is decreasing, and I'll put it back. So there, I'm back to 10 megahertz, and again, the calibration coefficient is minus three. So the next calibration I'll do is I'll calibrate uh, the uh, sweep, what I call the, the sweep, and what it basically does, it just calibrates or characterizes uh, the output uh, signal from the signal generator as a function of frequency, uh, thereby you can compensate for it in your, uh, in, in your measurements. So what I've done is I've got the uh, 9850 directly connected to the 8307, and I'll just go in here and select calibrate go over here and select uh, calibrate sweep it says collect connect in and out cable push rotary so there the calibration is done so now if I was to go over and uh, do a sweep with the same um, configuration where the uh, uh, 9850 is connected to the 8307 and I just execute that sweep you'll see that my markers are showing it's 1.20 so if it was uh, uh, perfect it would show a value of 0 meaning that uh, the the uh, the offset from the signal coming in here is actually 0 it's uh, it's compensated so uh, it looks as if we're getting a, an error of about uh, uh, 1.2 dBm. So for this next test, uh, I've got a I've got a uh, 20 meter bandpass filter connected to uh, the SNA, and I'm going to do a sweep of that filter. So we come down here, select uh, sweep, execute doing the sweep and there's the plot of the sweep and the markers and if I save that likewise my cursor I can cursor over to I can manually go across the plot and get the values and that's showing me my values over here and if I was to go into the files menu to pull up 
you'll see I've got a lot more files saved here uh, which I can scroll through the various files and uh, so there's the last sweep I did so it looks as uh, everything is is working uh, right now so what I've got connected up here I've got the uh, an ammeter showing the current that's being drawn by the SNA and right now it's drawing uh, close to 425 milliamps and the temperature of the heat sink is 105 degrees so that heat sink is quite hot and uh, it's just an in indication that what I need to do is not feed in such a high voltage into the uh, Arduino I probably need to feed in like a voltage around 7 volts or so or 6 volts to keep the drop uh, down to 5 volts as low as possible and that way the voltage regulator doesn't need to dissipate as much heat